Today, I have got a meal prep video for you. So if you're interested in that, stay tuned. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, my name is Pamela and I like to share deliciously easy plant-based recipes. So if those are the types of videos that you like, be sure to click that little red subscribe button down below along with the notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos. Today, I've got a meal prep video for you and it's actually based on our one week of eating from the official Bright Lane Eating Cookbooks, uh, their, their meal plans. Uh, we did winter week one and the first three days are pretty much the same so breakfast was all oatmeal lunch was all the roasted butternut squash and some beans and then uh, the dinners were a little bit different so I basically just prepped breakfast and lunch so that my husband um, could grab and go um, and get right out the door and go to work so I'm gonna show you how I did that okay so here is my meal plan and the notes that I made on the meal plan. So basically, um, I just crossed off the fruit on the lunch um, and then doubled the veggies. Um, and then I'll just like double the veggies on that. And then I put notes. So if it's a, if it's something that's a recipe, I put the page numbers. So I, I noted the page numbers. So I'm going to start with, um, what's going to take the longest so the roasted butternut squash that's going to take the longest um I, actually i've already started the making the yogurt that takes eight hours so i already started that <laughs> that takes the longest so next i'm going to do the um, roasted butternut squash um, and then i'm going to do the beans for the beans um to go with the butternut squash i actually chose uh, black eyed peas because elsewhere in the week we're already going to have chickpeas and then white beans, and then we're having the very veggie chili. So there's gonna be like black beans and kidney beans and pinto beans there. Um, so I just figured this would be um, just something different than what we're already having in the week. Um, and those in the pressure cooker only take like seven to 10 minutes. So those aren't gonna take very long. So I'll get to those next. So um, I am gonna brave it <laughs> and go with instead of the frozen butternut squash i'm going to go with like the real the real deal um because i just had my neighbor sharpen my knife um, a little bit ago it might already be dull because i cook every single day <laughs> so we'll see how sharp it still is um oh it's still pretty sharp good <laughs> um, and then i've got to peel it and that's the crappy part is peeling it um, so I've got my, I don't, I don't know if you guys know this or do this, but I have like a compost bowl that I always keep nearby. Um, so yeah, so, oh, I'm going to probably speed this part up for you so you don't have to watch me peeling and chopping, but I'm just going to um, peel this, chop it, and um, follow, there's a um page in the book that show tells you how to roast veggies and so because there's a quote-unquote recipe in the book on how to roast veggies um, i'm actually going to follow that for roasting these otherwise i would just you know do it how i normally do it um, but because there's a recipe i'm going to go ahead and follow that um, so um, i'm going to fast forward through this so you don't have to watch it and as soon as i'm doing that recipe I will slow down and show you what I'm doing. All right, so it looks like just one butternut squash takes up one tray. So I'm just gonna do one tray for now, um, just because I don't wanna stack two trays in my oven and risk not 
getting a nice good roast. So let's take a look at what the book says about roasting vegetables. It's on page, let's see, 117. And it calls for balsamic vinegar and salt. And it says roast for 25 to 35 minutes. All right, so I've got some balsamic vinegar here. So I'm just going to if I can get it off. Oh, actually, oh, I was gonna say, actually, I think this might be empty. Yep, that's the last of it. I do have more in my pantry if I need it. <laughs> if you saw my pantry tour, I've got tons of vinegar. Okay, and then, Salt, and I'm just gonna use my hands to like mix this all together. Whoops. Run away. Squash there. Okay. So let me rinse off my hands and then I'll go ahead and get this in the oven. And the oven is already preheated to 425 degrees. Okay. Now on to the black eyed peas. And we need three days worth. So I'm gonna do about a cup and a half. Um, if I need more, I can always do more. So a cup and a half of beans and I'll do three cups, uh, maybe three and a half cups of water. So I just put like a half a cup of water down in there with my sink and then here's a measuring cup with like three cups. And then um, again, these only take about seven to 10 minutes in the Instant Pot. All right, so this is my eight quart Instant Pot. So I'm just gonna put the lid on and turn the vent to ceiling and pressure cook, high pressure. And I think I'm just gonna do 10 minutes. I think these are kind of old beans. I've had them for a little bit. <laughs> So I'm gonna do 10 minutes. I'm gonna turn off the keep warm function, but I am gonna let it do a natural pressure release. So I'm gonna let those cook and I'm gonna get back to prepping. Up next is grapefruit. So all I'm gonna do is, I'm just gonna quick and dirty cut these with my knife instead of like doing it all pretty, like cutting it in half and using like a little grapefruit spoon um, to get the, the meat out of there nice and neat. Um, yeah, <laughs> I'm gonna do it like I do my oranges, basically. Okay, so I have these Tupperwares that I'm gonna put the uh, yogurt and the grapefruit in. I'm not really sure how much uh, six ounces of uh, grapefruit is. So I think I'm gonna start on this side because I think the yogurt will fit there for sure. Um, so let's do six ounces of oh, grapefruit. And then the oatmeal I'm gonna do in a separate uh, glass container so that my husband can heat it up in the microwave if he likes. I can already see I'm going to need a knife. Oh, there we go. Six ounces. Okay, so there's one. Okay, so there's his three fruits for, 
uh, his three breakfasts. And then um, I'll need to weigh out his yogurt. Um, and uh, up next, let's do his, let's do his oatmeal next, since I've got that out. So I'm gonna do his oatmeal in uh, these glass jars. <clears throat> Okay, so it's like a heaping quarter cup. Okay. And then a half an ounce of ground flat. Actually, do it this way. Okay, I'm actually gonna measure the ground flax into a little container like this in case I go over, then I can pull it out without having to like dig through <laughs> the oats. Okay, so half an ounce of, is that right? Yeah, it says six ounces. Six ounces of plant-based yogurt and half an ounce of ground flax. Oh yeah, because it would be eight ounces. Okay, yeah, that's right. Had to double check the math, just just in case. God, it's a lot of flax. Holy moly. That's a lot of flax. Oops. That is a lot of flax meal. That's like, <laughs> that's as much oats. Wow. Uh, okay. Wow. Okay. So, hmm. Now I'm trying to decide if I want to mix these two together and do like overnight oats with this. <laughs> Ugh. Hmm. I think I'm going to do just one to start and see how it goes uh, because that's a lot of flax. I might, I might end up switching this to hemp hearts um, because hemp hearts make a better well, I don't know if they make it better, but I know that they make a really good uh, overnight oats. But we'll try the flax. Oh, and there's my um, black eyed peas. So now I've just gotta let them do a natural pressure release. Okay, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna try this. We'll see, <laughs> we will see how it goes. I mean, it might, I'll also try, try this um, tomorrow morning. Um, like my oatmeal, I'm just gonna cook in the morning. Um, and his, I'm gonna do overnight oats. So we'll see the difference, like, you know, if it's good one way and not the other, or if it's good both ways. So yeah, so we'll just do that for now. Okay, and I'm just gonna put some water in here and we'll let it sit overnight. And then he can either um, eat it as is, or he can mix his yogurt um, and his grape uh, grapefruit in there, or he can do whatever. Or, hmm, ooh, you know what? He could also do, he could also do this as a, um, like a topping on top of his yogurt. Oh, that would be good too. Oh man, so many things you could do with this. <laughs> oh, but it actually says cooked. Hang on, look. It actually says four ounces cooked oatmeal. So we're, we're gonna cook it. Okay, we're gonna cook it. 
All right, so I've got these pine nuts here. And since they're gonna go with um, roasted butternut squash and beans, I'm actually just gonna put them in this little container so that he can pour them on top uh, right before he eats. That way they don't get soggy. So uh, what was it? Half, half an ounce of pine nuts, all right. Okay, now I'm just gonna do his because I can weigh mine out later on. Okay, so there we go. There is my hubby's lunch for tomorrow. So his uh, breakfast and lunch is done for tomorrow. And then for tomorrow, um, half of my lunch is done. So the, the peas are done and then I'll just have to make, um, I'll probably use one of those microwave um, butternut squash packs that I have. So I'll use the rest of this and then um, some butter, like a, one of those frozen packs. Um, and then since I already got this sturdy, I'm just gonna put these in there for tomorrow. All right, and the last bit of meal prep, this is the following morning after my yogurt has finished straining. And I'm just weighing out the six ounces of yogurt for my husband's three breakfasts. And if you didn't see the first part um, of this series, the first video, I will put a link to it um, in the description box down below, along with in the info card up above um, so that you can watch that first video. And there will be future videos coming, so make sure that you click the notification bell so you don't miss any of them. All right, if you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and share it with a friend. If you wanna see more from my channel right now, go ahead and click one of the videos that you see on your screen right here, and I will see you next time.